Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Lynn Wilson. And I always love watching what people do, how they live their life, places they go. So I thought I would take you along on one of my days off this week. And it's summertime here in New Jersey. And we decided to visit a garden center. We only go here maybe once a year. We actually forget it's here. Um, it's about five minutes from our house. So it's silly that we forget it's here, but we do. So it's a little country um, garden center and they have outside, they have bags of soil and stone and bricks and things like that that you can buy. Tons and tons of flowers. And we went over there to actually get some mulch for our garden, which you'll see my husband working on later. And we're just scanning the prices of flowers to realize they're a little bit pricey for us. And usually we can get a better deal at Walmart or another garden center, but they're still beautiful to look at. So here we're just walking around, checking everything out. And now they have an inside area. The first section is um, different gardening things and bug sprays and tools and things like that that you can use. And then the inside is just really cute. And once in a while we'll catch this at Christmas time. And they just have a nice display of things. Right here my husband's checking out some of the stuff he might need for the garden. I think we need a new hose and things like that. Just checking out some prices. Again, it tends to be a little pricey, and uh, but we're still looking around to see, you know, different things they have. So um, we definitely need some bug killer things and um, other stuff for the garden. So let's see what they have. So in our area, deer are always running across the highways. Most people at least once have hit a deer with their car and we have um, deer always eating and nibbling at our garden and we have tons of moles in our yard. They drive us crazy. So we were checking on some stuff for that and then we are also looking for a stink bug spray that we had bought once before and it worked great and there it is. So I think we're going to pick that up too. So here we step inside. It's like a little country store in here. They have flags for the outside of the house and uh, candles and some cards and all kinds of um, little knickknacks and tchotchke stuff. And uh, these are cute little things to put at the end of a driveway with some solar lights and there's some flags hanging there. We called this the bird room as we walked in. It was all bird feeders and bird food. Um, some stuff for squirrels as well, but tons and tons of bird food. And um, there were some really cute metal bird feeders. One was a frog, and I think the other one was a penguin that I looked at. And then there they are. The other one was an owl. I really like them, but they were $25. And I just thought that was too pricey. Maybe I'm just cheap. I'm used to going to thrift stores. So when I go to a real store, I'm not too happy about it. This birdhouse was, I think, $30. There it is, $29.99. Again, way too pricey for me. There's my handsome husband. I asked him to smile, and you can just see his eyes light up. So here in New Jersey, yes, we're still wearing face masks. Um, indoors not outdoors unless you can't social distance so we're walking around here with our masks on but enjoying just looking at all the different options and um, the flowers and all kinds of other goodies they have flags and a lot of metal figurines that you can put in the garden and here's some things for 40% off they have some local honey 
which I didn't realize they carried, which was cool. It's good to know. And they have some homemade jams that they also have there as well. This sunflower metal shaped item I fell in love with until I saw the price of $60. So this place I believe is called Country Gardens and they also have a small bakery. They used to sell produce but um, we didn't see that this time. So we just checked out all the yummy items that they have here and they had some donuts and some homemade breads and cookies and um, babka and we ended up with a really delicious cheese danish which was great because my husband was counseling someone the next day so we were able to serve that with some coffee and we've also enjoyed it ourselves and then tomorrow night we're headed over to my parents so we'll bring a little bit over there to share with them as well and um, they can enjoy that with us So this was our morning run out. We went and got some mulch and I think one or two other things. We're headed out now and um, here's a cute view of the back end of the building and some of the other flowers. And now we're headed home to have lunch and then take my son over to my place of employment. And as you can see, they had a slip and slide today for all the conference guests that are there. They have this every year. It's a complete hit. As you can see, it looks like tons of fun. They have a hill on the back of one of the areas and they put a um, big tarp down of sorts and they put Joy dish soap and then they spray that with a hose and people hop in tubes and slide down there with the help of our assistants that we have. And the families that come to spend a week with us for our family conferences go crazy over this. They've been doing this for years now and it's just a lot of fun. So here you get to see a glimpse of our youngest son with the blue backpack. That's Gavin heading over to the slip and slide and the other young man who's squatted down with the camera. That's our other son and that's our oldest son Graham and he works here as well and he is taking video and photos of the day. You can see the crowds are gathering. Gavin's saying hi to all his friends and checking out who's there waving to everybody and uh, up oh, there goes someone down the slide right now splash at the end so here we go some more coming down at the very end here they come here they come sliding down having a great time you can just see it swish at the end now we're headed over to another area. This is what we call the lower lake. There's canoes there. It's so beautiful, scenic, and enjoyable. We're just taking a drive around, my husband and myself, enjoying having a day off and just the beauty of where I work. It's amazing. So we're driving in the car, you get a sneak preview of this beautiful gazebo that's in the middle of the lake. There's part of it, it's hard to see out the car window. Um, but we have a lot of people that get their wedding pictures on here. It's just beautiful. Some benches around to sit on, just to enjoy. People can go fishing here. We have some turtles and things like that in the lake as well. Just a lot of fun to just go and sit and relax and enjoy the sun. And then you can see that big brick building 
in the far distance that is the building that I work in and where I go to work most days and spend a lot of time. Here's a spillway. We love coming here listening to the sound of the rushing water and um, really just beautiful. This actually would connect to a third lake that we have on the property. You can see the other side of it here. So pretty and scenic. And uh, we're passing by a white chapel that is on the property. This is one of the original buildings from about a hundred years ago and uh, now you're getting to see my husband at home doing the gardening and he's trying to clean up the yard we have not had any time to get out here we've been just doing so many other projects and it was overgrown and needed a good rake and a good clean out which is what he's doing now and we bought that mulch to put down here and we're going to be working on that I have to give kudos to my husband. He has epilepsy and it is extremely difficult for him to do anything in life. It wears him down very quickly as well as heat and the sun and just an off day can cause him to have a seizure. But he's always wanted to do special things for me and keep me happy and um, gardening is something he really enjoys. I just always worry that he's going to have a problem so I'm always trying to just keep my eye on him and go out there with him. And um, here he's just cleaning up part of the yard. You get to see our puppy running around. He went outside for a little walk. And that was our white golf cart that you had just seen. We use that to run back and forth to work. And um, I'm very close to work, so I get to take the golf cart once in a while. And that's our puppy, Kip. He's not actually a puppy. We just call him puppy but he's enjoying the sunshine. We love this flag, welcome to the nut house. We just said that's what we are. We're a nut house, but we enjoy it. So thanks so much for stopping by and enjoying our day off with us. We hope you enjoy just this little insight to our life. Look at these beautiful blue skies. I hope you're having a great day and we'll catch you on the next video.